Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily configure your Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So before we get started here, if you could click that like button and subscribe to Tech Gamers World, I'm always going to have new and exciting content from the worlds of video games, flight simulators, and technology dropping all the time, and I would love for you to be part of my adventures. So with that said, let's get it started. So this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and Microsoft Flight Simulator is available on two systems, Microsoft Windows 10 and 11, otherwise known as PC, or Microsoft Xbox Series S and X. Now to utilize flight sticks or rudder pedals, the game must be fully installed. Microsoft Cloud Gaming does not support anything beyond the standard Xbox controller at this time. So this is being done on a Microsoft Xbox Series X, but what you are going to see applies to a PC in the same exact manner. I've gone ahead here and connected my Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 to my Microsoft Xbox via the standard USB-A port. I've connected my Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals to my Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick with the proprietary direct attached cable that plugs into the rudder port right there. And I have the switch set for Xbox. So now we're ready to configure the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator. When you first plug in the flight stick or the rudder pedals, you will not get any prompts from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what you need to do to verify that it's being seen is go up to the controls in the game. So what you want to do is press your right analog stick to bring up the top right menu to bring you to it and navigate over to the settings wheel. Then what you want to do is move over to press RB twice to get to the controls settings. Now here you will see the controls settings menu. Now we've already gone ahead and configured our Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick. And if you're interested in how to do that, check out some of my other videos on my channel. I've got detailed step-by-step -step walkthroughs how to set up this flight stick to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator for both airplanes and helicopters. Now, what we're going to do is add on to this to use the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals. And it's actually very simple to do. What you're going to do here is navigate down to your T-Flight HOTUS 1 device and access it. Now it's going to bring you over to the categories. There are two categories that we need to configure the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals to work with. First is going to be flight control surfaces because we need to have it so that the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals act as a rudder for our planes and helicopters. So what I want you to do is once you're in flight control surfaces, navigate down to primary control surfaces. Then I want you to scroll all the way down to rudder access. So here is rudder access. It's currently set for joystick access two. And what that is, is that is the joystick on the flight stick, the main Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1. So when I go like this, that is the rudder. That's going to be the primary. Now, what I want you to do is set it as the secondary, set the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals as the secondary. And I'll show you how to do that here. Just navigate over to the second column. That is the secondary inputs. Press A on it. It's going to say scanning. So then what I want you to do is take your Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals and just very gently move them like this so that it sends an input to the system. So let's go ahead and do that here now. You'll see it is now set for joystick access two. Now, some of you are probably thinking right away, why does it say joystick access two? Isn't that the same as this? Technically, yes, it is. But I have found that if you don't do this, the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals don't always work. When I set this up as the secondary, it works consistently. So while I think it's saying the same input because the T-Flight rudder pedals are routed through the HOTUS 1, better safe than sorry just to add it to the configuration as a secondary input for the rudder access. 
Once you've done that, we also need to assign the T flight rudder pedals to the brakes. So I'll show you that now. So we can go ahead and leave the flight control surfaces and navigate down to brakes. So you have a bunch of settings under brakes. You have auto brake, parking brake, brakes, and anti-skid. If you've seen some of my other videos, we configured the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 to work as the parking brake. It's currently bound to the previous button, otherwise known as button 13. Now, what you can also do is have brakes. Brakes are when your aircraft has landed or you're taxiing and you need to slow down. So currently, the brakes are bound to B2, which is right here on my flight stick. So when I'm landing, taxiing, I can use both brakes simultaneously by holding button B2. The Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals allow you to take that a step further and define left and right brakes. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to assign the left and right brake to the left and right rudder pedals. So the left brake, we're going to hit scanning. What I want you to do is simply push forward with your foot or your hand on the T-Flight rudder pedal the left side. As you can see, it says joystick access six. So it has registered that input. We go down to right brake. We're gonna do the same thing and just simply push forward. Joystick access seven. So we've now defined the left and right brake. So now while you're flying, taxiing and landing, you can use the left and right brake. So you can use them independent of each other left brake, right brake, or simultaneously, both brakes at once. This is how it is on a real aircraft when they're taxiing or landing. They use the brakes on the rudder pedals down on the floor to do slow down, turn, etc. So obviously, this is how they turn left or right. This is how they use brakes. That's why if you ever watch real videos of aircraft that are taxiing, landing, once they land on the ground, they no longer use their flight stick to turn the plane. They use the rudder pedals on the floor for left and right, and then braking. So that's it. We've gone ahead and configured the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals to work with our Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And this configuration applies to both the PC and Microsoft S and X versions of their Xbox. Again, this only works when the game is fully installed and this is not supported with cloud computing. That is very important. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If anyone needs any help configuring the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick or Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you could click that like button and subscribe to Tech Gamers World, I'm always going to have new and exciting content from the world of video games, flight simulators, and technology dropping all the time. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I will see you around. Keep on flying.